Welcome to Jackie's Craft Table. Hello, thanks for joining me today on my blog and YouTube channel. I apologize for being away for so long. We've been out in Utah visiting family and friends. We've been back for a week now, but I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things. I wanted to try out a new pack of Versa Magic Dewdrop inks that I recently purchased. So I'm making a chalkboard card in this video. I'm starting off by prepping some black cardstock with some anti-static powder. And now I'm going to use an older stamp set that I've had in my stash for a while. And it has this cute little jar. And I'm inking that up with some Versamark ink. And I'm going to ink that up twice, just in case. Now I can pour on my white embossing powder. While I was away, I picked up a new heat embossing tool. I packed a lot of my art supplies, but I did not remember to pack my embossing tool. So I had to pick up one, but it was a good excuse to buy a smaller one. I've been using my husband's industrial sized heating tool for all my cards. And this one I have now works really well. Now that I have the container for my flowers all stamped out, I'm going to start stamping up the flowers. And I have this cute stamp set from W plus nine. It's called Summer Blooms. My color palette is kind of limited to the inks in my Versa Magic ink packet. It came with a pink and two different colors of oranges and a green. And so I'm going to stamp up my flowers with the pinks and the oranges. And with this ink, you have to stamp it a few times onto the black cardstock. I also tried this on a piece of white cardstock, and this ink really is vibrant when you stamp it onto white cardstock. But with the black cardstock, I end up stamping it at least three or four times. So as I said before, I did pack a lot of my stamping and art supplies to take along with me on my vacation. I was kind of worried about taking my Copic markers with me, but I couldn't bear to leave them behind, so I packed them up in a carry-on bag. And at the O'Hare airport, they pulled me aside and the lady says, what are those knives? <laughs> and I said, no, those are artist markers. When she was looking at my bag through the scanner, she must have been looking at the chiseled edge of the markers. They looked like knives to her, and I was so worried that they were going to confiscate them. Um, but she let me through, and I was so relieved after I got through security. <laughs> I was really glad I brought all of my crafting supplies because we had some card parties, and I got to visit and have a lot of fun with my family out there. It was close to 100 degrees every day we were out there, but I simply loved it. I'm such a desert baby. And I understand that back in Illinois, they were having flooding and rainstorms constantly while we were gone. So we chose a good month to be away. <laughs> this stamp set is a lot of fun to use. I think it's very unique. It comes with a lot of pieces that you can make a variety of flowers. And it comes with this centerpiece of this flower. And I'm going to stamp that up in a different color. My cardstock did warp a little bit when I was heat embossing the jar. And so you'll see me tugging at it, trying to make sure it's right in the corner so I can stamp these images several times. I love stamping with pigment inks because when you stamp up the image, you can really see the ink on there, unlike dye inks where sometimes you can't even see the color going on. But these are really creamy, fun inks to play with. A lot of stamping was involved with this card just to get it to the darkness that I liked. So I'm going to speed up the video and you can see the process and I'll put on a little bit of music for you to listen to while you watch. And then I'll catch up with you at the end.
I let this panel dry for a good hour. It probably wouldn't take that long, but I had stamped so many layers on it, I just wanted to give it a, a plenty of time. And now I'm going to go over it with some Prismacolor pencils, just to make it even darker. But first I'm going to draw in some stems, and I'm going to use a white Prismacolor pencil first. And then I'll go over that with my green color. The white just adds a nice base layer so that the green will show up really vibrant. You could also stamp out the flowers first with some white pigment ink, but I just wanted to test out these new inks and see how dark and vibrant they would be on black. And then I always like to have a little bit of coloring in all of my cards, so it was fun going back over them with some Prismacolored pencils just to add a little more color to them. Some of these stamps have little dots in the corners, and I'm going to go over those with a white gel pen. This just makes the flowers pop a little bit more. I'm using the sentiment that came with this set. It says, I can't thank you enough, and I'm using a little bit of green cardstock to stamp that. Then I'm going to cut that out with my paper trimmer into a very narrow strip. one of the ends I'm going to turn into a banner just by cutting a slit down the middle and then cutting the corners to the slit. Easy way to make a little banner. I'm using some dry adhesive to attach my black panel onto my card base. I'm really loving this new dot liner adhesive that I'm using. I'll provide the link to it on my blog and YouTube channel as well as the other supplies that I use to create this card. And I'm going to add some more of that to my sentiment and just place that right across the jar. Please like, subscribe, and share this video on your favorite social media. This stamp set that I'm using also comes with the sentiment that says, but I'll try. So I'm going to stamp that inside my card. I'm going to use my Misty for this so that I don't mess it up after all of that work. I think when I send out this card to someone, I'm going to pair it with a box of chocolates because I think that would be perfect to go along with this sentiment that says, I can't thank you enough, but I'll try. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are having a wonderful summer, and I'll see you again soon in my next video. Bye. <laughs>